Okay guys, so this is going to be the last update to the video um, which just started a few months ago uh, titled uh, No Start With That Excessive Fuel Issue Sorry that it took a while before I was able to upload this video but I've been too busy and I went back home for quite a while but you know, now I'm back and now I'm able to upload it and so now without further ado, here it is Now we've gotten the uh, vaporizer off of the truck, so time to do some pressure testing on it. So I know that there's positive pressure going out of this, and but I want to make sure, or wanted to see how much pressure was coming out of this vaporizer. So the hookup right now is my lockup solenoid. I'm just going to power it directly from my battery, right? I'm gonna use this, give it a ground, hook up to the tank, open it up. Alright. So when I put this on the negative, that's gonna open up the lock off, and we're gonna see how much pressure is gonna come out of this secondary port right here. So let's do that. up whoop man I don't know if you see that so this vaporizer just buried my freaking pressure gauge and it's just gonna go up and up and up and up so it's putting positive pressure out and the concern from the other guys who commented is that it is supposed to put the pressure out of the secondary but I think that's a little bit too excessive so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bite the bullet on this one and go ahead and order the new vaporizer and test it out the same way and see what pressures we get out of that got the new vaporizer same one old one right here right now so same setup, secondary, hook up the pressure gauge, get it close to here, alright, same setup with the lock off, so let's see what pressure we get when we put, uh, when we energize the um, lock off. <laughs> wow, look at that, oh that's a big difference, so on this one, I have it powered off or powered on right so there's constant pressure coming out of the tank to the lock off right and right now it's regulating it at one PSO so even if see clicking in you can hear the lock off clicking and the pressure does not go up beyond one psi okay i'm not going to be able to uh test it out in the truck yet, just yet because there is there are some other work being done on the truck in question but i think this already proves that it is the excessive fuel that is not making this the truck not start but i was wrong in the assumption that it was controlling vacuum it is actually controlling positive pressure going into the mixer all right but it's still the excessive amount of fuel being delivered that caused the caused the truck not to start okay back again this heister and now i have the um new fuel uh vaporizer all right so after we did that testing, I just want to see if it's now going to start up good with that new vaporizer. Okay, wrap it up a bit.
unfortunately I tried to hook up the um, laptop to this try to communicate with the computer to see where the fuel trims are at uh, but I could not communicate with it I don't know if my password was wrong or whatever but going through the dash diagnostics I could not see the uh, long-term fuel trim only the short term so the short term when I was running it, it was about at minus one percent but that would be inconclusive for me but the main thing is now it starts up fine and it runs so with the test testing that we did with the vaporizer so I know that was the cause of the no start